Man, I'm kind of bummed because neither Black Dahlia or Dahlia, I think, is actually the real pronunciation. And Fang didn't make it into uh, the Skullgirl first voting list thing, and that makes me kind of peeved. Well, that's a bit strong. Hey there, everyone, this is Alcal playing as uh, Super Brothers X Sing, Proving to the Stupid. Last time we ended here, which was a level of platforming and bonking your head. So I guess we can continue things in World 6. How many worlds are there left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If everything goes well, this could be sorted out in two videos. If it doesn't, it'll take more. I'm saying obvious things. A stormy ascent! With the witch hat on our head. Gonna send that storm. Gonna ruin that video quality. Well, not ruin it anymore. But it will uh, make the file size a lot bigger. Complaining things about things that don't have anything to do with the video game. The video game. This is actually a neat whoops effect there. It's like, you know? Although it's kind of look weird because it's like we're inside a building. But the like the rain is inside the I think it's neat. It's weird neat. It's neat in a weird way. It's weird in a neat way, I should say. The way that words relate to each other is sometimes distracting! Whoa! You cannot destroy the world. You can only influence it slightly. And even then, you're a ghost. Uh well, that's was a very good use of my metabolism there, Raoul Cal. Congratulations. I've got fireballs, it's pretty great. So this is a weird level made out of mostly used blocks. And you're going up the descent of the ascent of you and you're going upwards. You always forever going higher up, Mr. the Ghost. Do you not agree it is best to go forever upwards, then stagnate and spin around in circles forever? I'm glad you see it my way. I'm just gonna throw some fireballs here, it's pretty great. Where are we and where are we going and what is this color of soup? Hi there guy, you're living in the pipe. I don't know, there was a circle of platform there and that just doesn't rub my tummy to right. Whoa, this looks kind of scary at this point. Down with the scariness gonna climb up these brown blocks everywhere. The coloration of the rain seems backwards to me, but that is a singular thing that has nothing to do with nothing else. You're a thwomp man, you're a thwomp, also ostensibly a man apparently. Oh, that was pretty good, uh, you know, gauging of my speed and reactions. It's pretty swell. This is, a uh, you know, a fairly extensive level of, uh, Traipsing about the fields of butterfly. Hey, bullet, calm down now. This ain't your time to shine. Oh man, I misinterpreted that platform, but things went okay, anyways. That's what matters, right, Goop Man? Exchange of rate of fire? Impossible. But at the very least, I got a cat. Cat, my guy there. It's kind of chilling, enjoying the rain, sometimes ducking, sometimes standing. And a platform ain't coming no more. Come on, platform. Don't stay all the way over there like a naked bread. The issue is that I cannot screen the scroll, so I'm like, well, let's take a chance. I did not have any choice, my fuzzy friend. I Wow, this is um, confusing. Let's take our time somewhat and look at the world in front of us not the one behind us we don't want to go there this is getting slightly saturated with enemies and I don't know if I care much for that help! I need somebody! oh man well all the ghosts are stuck in the rain they're gonna wait for like three hours in the traffic. Ah, oh, jeez, why did I... why did I stop? I should have kept going so that you didn't have time to throw your bananas. Maybe I can like reset things. Maybe I can get a friendly shell. Thank you, household management classes. Thanks to you, I won't flunk Friday. Man, this is a... Uh, this has been going on for a tiny little bit, so I'm kind of afraid that as I spot that midpoint, just kind of staring at my ear canals. Okay, I don't know where we're at. I guess we're done the ascending. Now we can start descending. How do you get to that prize? Not this way! Well, kind of... Wow, you're excited, Lakitu! <laughs> oh, jeez! I mistimed and misaimed and missed every... This is silly. Um... Hearts... 
please evaporate in the midnight rain. I would appreciate that greatly, let me tell you. It's a one-up, it's not a power-up. I got plenty of lives from other levels. I don't need no soup. Oh, jeez. Scary, scary. Forever filled with dreams. Platforms. Must be jumped. Pawn! That did not work. Throwing his Goomba. What? Wait, I was totally on top, man. To throw in <laughs> that wall bonk. Paul is ruining my plan to take over the Natural History Museum. Now I'll never live my dreams. Of... Okay, admittedly there might be mediocre, but they're my dreams nonetheless. No one should judge the dream of other people's because I'm pretty sure some people think your dreams are pretty dumb too. And you know, Marx always said all laws should be applicable to everyone and he hasn't been relevant for a while. So, you know, food for thought. Um, confusion. Ah, Natsuyu, why is there a coin here? There's no prize over there. I don't know, I'm out of the pipe! I thought I'd find a roof above my head, but instead I find doom and plight uh, and swinging sounds, which is a total mispronunciation of the actual sound effect I'm hearing ad nauseum here. Why don't you follow the thing? I don't know, I don't mind, because it gives me a yeesh. Swamp, that's rude and food. Qua, rude as food in all of Nevada. Welcome to McCarnical. Adventures in silence. Because you gotta eat your food silently, otherwise an owl comes and stomp on your head. It's, it's a really weird restaurant. But you know, you can never predict what those thematic restaurants are gonna be like. Oh man, you guys are dark gray, that changes everything. I now have a bludgeoning a weapon to destroy my enemies, but I won't need it, so instead I'm gonna exchange it for money. The rain went away! Wait, all those rain was sprites? <laughs> wow! <laughs> but the rain went away! Victory for those who enjoy sunshine above all! Which is probably like three persons. Few secret passages were left hidden here. Well, you don't say. You don't say, Helper Alice! Wow, I never would have guessed that. Blood Cavern! That sounds gross. Why would we want to go there? <laughs> Oh jeez, this is scary. Hi there, buddy. Um... Okay... This is obviously a reference to... I've got a skull. Got a skull, little spider ring. Okay, so you, you, you're not too excited by it. Oh! Oh! Okay, it's not a shell, it's a... Wow, this is... This is kind of creepy a little bit. Trying to understand my way around... Wait, those tears, those are from Calvin Klein, by which I mean Commander Keen. Those are houses? Ugh, I don't know how I feel about that, it was just kind of all sort of like all... All sort of like all... I don't know how I feel about those like alls. I like all of them. Well, there's dark evil buildings, and I... Okay, I thought it was like lava or something. Wait a second. Is that an indicator? Well, there, there's a gem there, but it doesn't seem to mean much. Very well, I can use Mr. Skullhead face again. Why? Why is this here? Did we lapse back into World 5 somehow? This is very scary. And an ring. Okay. Ah! Oh, Jesus, hell! Well, there's a key here. And then it went brr brr, so it's probably a good sign, right? It's always a good sign to hear an enemy taunt you. That's what I've learned back in kindergarten. Okay, I don't know where I'm at, I don't know where I am. I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know what I plan. What am I meant to do in this world? Maybe now I can go down... The well! This is not an improvement at all! <laughs> oh jeez. Um... Hey, Bloodlord, seems you, uh, got a new haircut. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, oh no! 
You're not allowed! Going in this pipe here. Now what's going on, my little tubular friend, but there's hands coming out on the ground. That's just unsightly. And unhealthy. And there's grasses. Ah! I've got a tear. It's like the tears of my enemies that are just kind of hanging around places and have somewhat confusing difficulty sometimes experiencing between life and death. They're just so similar. Man, angry head face. You're a scary type of dude, and I don't am fun fact fun of you. Okay, so... Voices in the soundtrack. Please calm yourself. This is creepy enough as is. Thank you. Ah, head face. No, no, no sound loud. No loud sounds around here. There's chest. They don't seem to mean a whole lot now, do they? Wait, you're supposed to just do that jump there? That looks scary. Goopa, what are you doing here? This is way too scary for you. In your cuddly, cuddly looking inness. Spiders are tiny. There's a wizard looking thingy. I don't know what's going on around here. Oh, oh no, it's the wizard! No, it's not! I, I... <laughs> I'm pretty sure you shouldn't drink the blood of a species that is not native to your planet. Ah! Um... Um... Oh no! Um... Um... No! I disagree! Gotta choose my mouth hole! Wondertastic. This is very unpleasant. Wait, can I just move to the side? From side to side? Come on, let's go do the Mario. I don't know. Whoa, what happened there? But I'm not always at the same place. I don't understand how you can pronounce the name Jub. Am I, am I doing any form of... Wait, sometimes it's a skull and sometimes it's a plus. Oh, okay, wait, the leaves, plants are different there. Maybe that's the cue. That's the clue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Different plants mean different stances. Although I don't know if I want to go where the plants are down. Oh! Catnip! What do you have to say? Go above the plants that look the same. This is, isn't that what I figured out? I'm confused. Maybe I didn't do it right. Hey there, Mr. Mr. Grub. What you have to say for yourself? <laughs> well, it's your fault for... Oh, now your house is crying! I'm sorry, Mr. Wizard Grub. I shouldn't judge your household by how creepy it is. I'm sorry. There, red catnip. Goodbye. Missing E. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Question mark? This is... yeah... Well, I want to end with this level, so hang with me. People who want to play my level, please do, because this is kind of a funny thing. Demoware is entirely based upon the concept of being surprised and whatnot, but which is kind of hard for me to do, because it's tiny, essentially tiny little puzzles based on commands. See, you have to enter the red door. Very well, I will enter a red door. There's a red door right here. Eat! Well, okay! Well, that's a coin. I don't want any, don't want any coins. Oh, that'd be crazy. Also, these are really well placed. I'll, I'll come oh, there's a turnip! I can eat that. And that somehow made a door open. Thank you, Mr. Space Door. 
touch the edge. I can do that. I'm gonna touch the edge of this rock. No, just because it's a command doesn't mean it'll be easy to get there, right, Sniffet? What do you feel about the way the world is turning? God, touch that edge and find out where it's at. Spinning little things. Oh, it's it's not over there. But it less level over there, obviously. So where else? Should I? Oh, she's pretty good at this video game business, by the way. Whoops! Uh, wow, I managed to kill myself on my own level. That's pretty great. <laughs> Typical level. So I consider that, you know, a victory of some kind. Also, we need to touch the edge, yeah, you need to touch the edge of the screen. Destroy the world? How about everything inside? Uh, that didn't destroy the world at all! However, he got some bombs here. You know. They tend to help in destroying the world slightly. At the very least, a little bit. If you try, jump! Okay, I can do that. I can even run a little bit beforehand, and sometimes I'll forget to wash my hands. Use your head. Very well. I'm using my head on these bricks. Also, you gotta think about it a little bit, but I'm gonna think so hard. That's a mushroom, that's a eyeball, that's the princess. How you doing? Well, I guess your coins, I don't mind about that. Well, there, Mr. Twitter. You're a scary sort of guy. Hey, don't do that. That's rude. And kind of mean spirited. Uh, dude, come on. That was rude and mean spirited 2.0. Well, it's a good thing there's a leaf repository all the way down here. And by leaf, of course, I mean everyone loves to enjoy the taste of old salmon. Or so I am making up. It's a good thing it's not true. Twitter, you're an annoying guy, and you are not in many levels. That's a good thing, probably. Well, I'm gonna use my head right here. Hi there, Bowser. How's it going? <laughs> make some noise! Very well, my pudgy friend! I'm gonna make all the noise I can think of! It's <laughs> oh, how I wish to be able to be experiencing this, but obviously it's kind of difficult considering I played this to this oak and I gotta solve this puzzle. It's a pretty difficult puzzle. It took two people to actually devise this puzzle here that I have then adapted to a Super Mario Brothers X. I feel a little bit uh, bad about spoiling it because, no, there's been a lot of work put into it, but these are the necessary sacrifices you must do when you're doing a Let's Play sort of thing. Uh, trust yourself! Never trust myself with anyone! Ah! <laughs> I never <laughs> oh my god, that guy is adorable! <laughs> They've replaced him without telling me! Let us rest. Got a nice little chair and table here. Unfortunately, Demo does not know how to sit. So let's go! Gonna try some shoes, but they're slightly too big for you, Demo, I think. Oh well, they'll just have to do. Maybe this'll do better than... I don't know. I don't think the shoe should go up above your nose like that. How about these? Ugh, a mild improvement at best. I don't think you should shop around in the sky like this, cow cow. Wow, cow. Demo neither. No one should shop in the sky. Let us celebrate after finding out about this celebrative truth. Also, uh, you can't literally go higher than that with the space boot. It's so unfortunate, but it was useless to us. So I guess in the end, it's all for the best. Now what can we celebrate here? How about completing a level? Good job, Demo! You will be rewarded soon with fireworks that say bomb on them. Also a key, but that's a detail. Show no fear. Very well. Let's contribute to Super Mario Brothers X thing, which is a little bit too late when you think about it. If you want to contribute to a Zelda classic thing, it's still in the card of J for now. But at this point in time, let's just go here. Catch and throw a bomb. You didn't crash, no throw. You just kind of bumped it. Demo, you need to be better at following instructions, otherwise you'll never be invited to the New Year Ball. And that's something you gotta avoid at all costs. You gotta avoid not getting a thing. That, I'm not sure if you can do that. 
Like, you know, uh, whoa, wait, 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 that's, wow, that's a very good judgment call there, that's how truly you are. A master video gamophone, uh, the best instrument used to listen to, you know, groovy aardvark and the Funkatron band. Uh, oh, dang it. See, this is what happens when you don't actually throw. It says toss and throw, not toss and gently deposit. Uh, see, once you throw, everything goes well, and everyone can be happy. You can get hits to a nice thing. I should actually get my uh, beat down there. A uh, beat is very useful when you play the guitar, but not if you play the ukulele. Now, to Sin, which as a video game character, Demo is quite used to do. It's pretty great. They the love the jungle. They'll very well. So I've got a little strike cat sort of thing planet here going on. Let us dive. Obviously, when obeying the love the jungle, you just want to go high up right into the sky. Hey there, Mouser. You're throwing yarn. Well, as a mouse, I suppose we can just eat you. Cats do eat mouse, after all. So, hey there, Waldor. How's it going? Whoa, Bob, what are you doing here? Destroy them all! Very well. Wait, wait, no, no, Stripey! Darn! Stripe cat, the stripe cat went away. Well, at the very least I can get a fire flower somewhere. There it is. It's flashing because it's fancy. It says so in the mall order form that I got at $3.99. Okay, I will take a deep breath. This is filler. <laughs> Think outside the box is the one bit I kind of regret because it doesn't make any sense and it's kind of bad. Uh, See, essentially, you're supposed... I'm presenting you with a terrible non-riddle, uh, as you can read here. And, you know, normally, you know, you give each answer to each friendly post. In other words, you're supposed to see you've got your different answers here. It's just, it's not clear enough. But, uh, you know, you're supposed to think outside the box. So, outside each box is, you know, you've got... You've got little things here, too, also, because, like, normally, you know, if you give the wrong answer, it's like, uh, Oh, I'm sorry about that, Mr. Shaman. You see, but then you get the wrong answer, so you get dumbed down to the Yoshi things, which is, you know, fair enough. But if you think outside the box and box outside the box, you get up here. Uh, that is true. That's the real answer. And there we go. So I kind of regret that part because I think the rest of the level is alright, and I think that part's kind of dumb. So yeah, we, I will finish the level, but first I'm going to exploit this little life farming opportunity. And of all the people I've seen play my level, they didn't seem to have realized exists. Especially not level testing, but there we go, I don't mind. <laughs> And that is how we ruin the world. Uh, so yeah, that was me playing a level of mine. You know, just, but the levels I played for real, this one here. This one was a neat, that one, this one was neat in terms, well, like, this one was neat in terms of neat platforming. This one was neat in terms of really neat uh, atmosphere. And yeah, I knew my level was here by virtue of seeing uh, a Terraformer play it. Next time? Potentially finishing world, uh, world six. Since we got two doors left, so we got door number one, and we've got door number A, and nothing else in the world will remind me of Rome. Especially not at this game, I'm sure.